I think this is a fair representation of the efforts to result ratio, and it's got three sections, class, home, and last week. Now, what I mean by this is, in your class, going to class and everything, that's 70% of the effort, because it takes the most amount of time, you have to get ready and all that sort of thing, but it only gives you 40% of the results. So if you just went to class, then you'd normally expect 40% of the results. Home is anything you do extra, which we're going to tell you in detail, but that is basically 20% of the effort because it's much less time. Now, that can give you 30% of the results. So if you were to do these two together only, you can expect about 70%. The last week, is bringing all the notes and all the past papers and everything together, that only takes 10% of the effort because it's only one week, but it'll give you again 30% in your results. Now, for you to get 100% in the results, you obviously have to put 100% attention into each area. And the reason why I'm showing you this is to show you how relatively more can be gained by doing small bits extra. It's like we said from the beginning, it's the small things that you do extra that makes the big difference. Learning is basically understanding what you don't know. Now there's two parts, one is understanding, one, the other one is finding what you don't know. Now finding what you don't know comes through past papers and questions and that sort of thing. But understanding, that's a different issue which we're going to go through. Now, if you can think of this box as you at the beginning of the year, the way you understand, the way you learn is by filling the box. And the way you fill the box is through focus. Now focus is putting over 95% of your attention and concentration into one area. And obviously you need to be alert and have energy which comes from standards and reasons and that sort of thing. Now the biggest barrier to your ability to focus is distractions. So you want to just bear that in mind. If you can think of focusing as going through each chapter with a light pencil, for the box, the way you make that stronger and stronger is through repetition. You can think of it as each time you repeat a chapter, you're going through it again with a pencil. Now for the next three sessions, I'm going to go through these three on how to make notes and how to study and that sort of thing to effectively reinforce what you've learned. So you want to always make sure you have repetition and focus in mind to understand something.